Hey, Awesome Doodles here and this is my cute kitty cat drawing. And this cat is thinking, OMG, I cannot wait to get into that box. <laughs> so we're going to start with an upside down U shape. And we're just going to draw it like this. Then we're going to do a zigzag line. Then let's do a line from that to that point. Let's do it from here to here. And let me continue my zigzag line. And we do another one on the other side, just like this. Now let's do two little paws like that and some lines here. You can add a little zigzag to your paws if you want, like I just did. And let's do a little zigzag shape on the side like that. Now, two curved lines like this. Two tiny lines in the corners like that. And a triangle for the nose. Then we do two curved lines and a U shape for the tongue. <laughs> then we do the ears. Just like that. And some quick lines sticking out for the whiskers. Alright, but what is this kitty cat thinking? Oh, he's thinking that he doesn't have a tail. <laughs> so we just go around doing a fluffy zigzag line going all the way around and then we do some zigzag lines across so we can color them in another color <laughs> awesome so this cat is thinking something else it's like omg i love a box so i'm just drawing a quick kitty cat inside a box but you can draw anything you want on the bubble that I'm gonna draw it can be a toy it can be a dog <laughs> or it can be somebody's name and it will be a fun gift to give to somebody for me I'm just drawing a little kitty cat inside a box because this cat is thinking I love a box more than anything in the world And now let's do some hearts. Let's just do the bubble. Ta-da! Pretty easy, right? <laughs> and if you want, you can retrace some of the lines to make them more dramatic, like this. Almost done. And here, let's just finish this line like that. More fluffiness on the tail, if you want to be super picky. And that's it. We're done, you guys. I hope you like this video. And if you do, subscribe. Up next, we're going to be drawing something crazy. So we're gonna start with the base and I'm doing a dot right here on the left and another one on the right. And I know that my first curvy line, I want it to be this big. And that's really useful when you start drawing things. Just do dots so you know the distance you want to apply to your lines. Ready? Here we go, I'm just gonna use this curvy line. This is an awful pen. It didn't work out. It's okay. Okay. Let's try this one. So I'm going to do the same. I have my dot right here and another one right here. And I know I want to do my line that big. Now on the right side is the same. I have a dot right here and it's going to meet its front all the way here. 
<laughs> yes, because we're not in Kansas anymore, people. No, we are not. Here we go. Geronimo! We made it. All right. Now the stop is just going to be a curvy line. Like this. And I'm going to unite these two lines. My left and the right. Ready? Here we go. We made it. All right. Now it's taking shape. And just a little tip. Sometimes you can retrace a line with another marker that you like better. Like I'm just going to retrace this line super quickly. And that's something you can always do. Oopsie, something was on my right biting me. It was my dog and I messed up my line. I know, it's like the dog and my homework excuse, but it's really... It's just pushing me with his nose. All right. And this line here. The line on the top. There we go. So that's what we have so far. Okay. So now I know I want to have a sort of a liquid, our hot coffee or chocolate. So I'm going to do a curvy line from this dot to this. And I'm just leaving a lot of space outside my dot. And here we go. There we go. And now I'm going to do another curvy line from this line to this. And I'm going to do a dot in the center. And I know I don't want to go beyond this line. Because sometimes when you're drawing lines, you tend to go too close to the other line. Because, you know, they're friends. They want to say hi. And next thing you know, you don't have the shape you wanted. So here we go. Ta-da! Oopsies. It's okay. Sometimes you can retrace lines like I did right now to fix that little mistake I did and I have to get a new marker because this doesn't work but that's okay now the handle is another story I want my handle to be from this dot to this dot so I'm gonna do a curvy line really curvy it's almost like making a U that is sideways so that's what I'm gonna do I have my two dots from here to here and Sparta, <laughs> whatever. And I'm going to repeat the same motion. I did two dots. And here we go. There we go. Now, for the details, I'm going to grab a Sharpie or another marker that is not so thick. And I'm going to start with the eyes. And the eyes are super easy peasy. First, a straight line. And then I'm gonna use a U shape, but upside down. So my eye is going to look like this. Ready? One, two, three. And I'm making myself two dots so I know how big my U has to be. So there we go. Dot to dot. We did it. Now I am going to do two lines like this in the center of the eye sort of here we go leaving a little bit more space I actually did here and I'm going to leave a dot in the center hold on what are you eating cherry? okay and this I can color black so you can go ahead and color that black if you want. I will do that actually better later. I just wanted to give you an idea what it looks like. And a little line up for the eyebrow. There we go. And you can always retrace your, sh your shapes. Now you can take another marker. And be like, okay, I'm not quite sure I like that line. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little thicker. Awesome. So now let's do the other eye. So I'm going to do two dots. And I know my eye wants to be that big. 
So here we go. Awesome. Now the inverted U from here to here. And there we go. A little smaller than the other one, but that's okay. Now I'm going to do this. Two lines. And I did it, and I will leave the little circle that I will leave white. My dog Charlie sees paint and sometimes he thinks it's candy, so I have to be very careful to always pay attention so he doesn't eat paint. And then the eyebrow. Alright, look at this handsome face, or mug should I say. Awesome, and now I'm gonna do some curvy lines like this, kind of like, ooh, it's so steamy, steamy, there we go, now the mustache, and I am going to do a dot in the center, and that's the center of our mustache, and that's a dot, right? And then I will do another one to the left and another dot to the right. So I will do this line and then like this. And then again. Oopsies, I made it bigger than the dot. But just to give you an idea, that's what I'm going to do. But a little bit more pointy. So I have my line. And here we go. Mustache left. Done. Now let's do it on the right. So I'm going to do a dot. And here goes nothing, people. Oopsies, it's a little crooked. I got distracted with this pen. Well, I will fix that in coloring. And now just a little curvy line. All right. I'm going to take my thicker marker. And I'm just going to retreat some of the lines, some of the lines. Da, da. And that's something that you can always do. Of course, it's easier to draw with a pencil and then erase as you go and then color with your marker. But I just wanted to quick show you how to do it. And I guess because I'm looking at the camera, I sometimes get confused where my dots are in lines. So you can do something like this. And there we go. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please do subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Happy drawing! Magic! Eat your cookies. Hmm.